I want to be very concrete at the end of this panel. I want to speak uh, about this. Keeping in mind the most important values of anthropological perspective, which are holism and recognition of the equal value of all cultures. This contribution will suggest introduction of anthropology into primary and secondary education. It is based on discussions within the World Council of Anthropological Associations, which included a sharing of experiences from initiatives across different countries, 53 actually, countries all around the world. I also draw on conversations with my colleagues from the Department of Ethnology and Anthropology of the University of Belgrade and some analysis of the present school system in Serbia, looking at some uh, legal documents as well as uh, speaking to teachers, uh, among which uh, one is here. <laughs> Actually, my daughter's elementary school teacher. So <laughs> I came back after many years uh, of not seeing her and spe uh, spoke to her about how our situation, our system functions in, pra in practice. The starting point is that ethnology and anthropology are scarcely represented in non-university education around the world. There are only a few countries in which anthropology was nationally accepted as secondary school class. Mm -hmm. For example, Norway has been successful in introducing and, keep and keeping alive such a program. And Cameroon uh, still has anthropology in public and private secondary schools, as well as in the teachers' training colleges. In other countries, like Portugal, or more recently, the UK, uh, they were introduced but soon dismissed. Many more examples speak of no initiatives or those that have failed from the very start. This is the situation. Now, in Serbia, at the secondary school level, we have had introduction to anthropology taught only in one ballet and one music school in Belgrade. The most extraordinary secondary education anthropology has been taught at the Petnica Science Center since 1994, which is an extracurricular educational institution for young talents. I happen to be with my colleague, uh, the, the, let's say the, uh, the, the starting coordinator of this program, so I have some direct experience with this. Of course, it still exists until today. At an elementary level, from 2005 until 2019, some content from folk studies, ethnology, and anthropology was represented in independent classes. One of the optional lower grade classes was called folk tradition, while one of the optional upper grade classes was everyday life in the past, but conceptualized by cultural historians, which is not the same. The perspective is not the same. Since that school year, these uh, since this school year, this exact one, these courses have been canceled. So keeping in uh, mind, once again, these two values that I mentioned in the very beginning of the anthropological perspective, which are holism, and uh, the second one put a little bit differently, the value of cross-cultural understanding and respect. My suggestion for introduction, uh, introducing anthropology into non-university education would be the following. First, we need to carefully examine the question of whether the effort should be global and from top down, starting from the World Council uh, to national associations and so on. If the answer is positive, we then need to make a common framework, but which would be flexible and adaptable to every particular national circumstance and school system with all its historical, political, economic, social, cultural, and structural specificities. We also need to insist on both the holistic approach and the trans-hegemonic approach, which respects equally the national and local cultural traditions that are to be subjects of educational process. Next, for now, uh, we suggest, or I suggest, the introduction of two new classes. On one hand, the national cultural heritage, and on the other, w the world cultures, mm -hmm. which I see as complementary in both elementary and secondary schools, not only in secondary school. It has to be brought in earlier on. In parallel, other existing core curriculum classes, such as history, geography, language, national language with literature, art and design, music education, and physical and health even education, should be enriched with national and world, but also traditional and modern cultural content, which is often not done. Something that always misses. Lastly, 
we need to insist that ethnologists and anthropologists teach the two new courses and that lower grade elementary school teachers who teach the whole curriculum to their pupils study ethnology and anthropology as an obligatory course at teachers training colleges.